Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Binary Matrix here. Now a lot of people are having a lot of issues with iTunes on Windows 7. Um, you install it, it comes up, it says iTunes has stopped working. Uh, so today I'm going to do a little walkthrough, show you what's going on, what's happening, and then also show you how to resolve this issue and get iTunes working on Windows 7. So we'll get right into this. Now you come into iTunes website here, where you download iTunes. Okay. Now you see this is for Windows 64-bit. Okay. Now if you scroll down, requires Windows 7 or later. Okay. 64-bit edition of Windows require iTunes 64-bit, obviously. So we're going to download this. Okay iTunes downloaded. So now we're going to run the install file. We're going to know this is version 12.5.5, okay, 64 bit. And install. Okay, now iTunes has successfully installed. Okay, we're going to finish. And boom. Here's the issue everyone's having with iTunes on Windows 7. iTunes has stopped working. Okay, a lot of people have had a lot of luck uh, uninstalling it, reinstalling it, doing different things to get it to work. Um, I've tried many of those different techniques and none of them worked for me. So I'm going to show you what I did. First we're going to close this out. And now we're going to go to the control panel. Programs. Program features. Now up here in the search bar we're going to type in Apple. And here's everything that was just installed just now. And you got application support 64 bit and 32-bit. Now, but this seems to be what the problem is. These are not working correctly on Windows 7. This new version of iTunes for whatever reason, maybe some bug, I don't know. But what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall all this and we're going to reinstall an older version of iTunes. So here we go. Okay, now that iTunes is fully uninstalled, we're now going to go back, and this time we're going to go to the Apple Support download page, where you will find all different versions of iTunes. Now we can get very old ones, we can go all the way back to 10.6.3, um, but I'm going to just go back to 12.1.3. And that's the one I am going to install now. All right, now we're going to go ahead and run the install file. Here we go, again, 12.1.3, 64-bit. And here we go. All right, now we're back to this screen again. It says iTunes has been successfully installed. Well, we'll see. We'll finish this. And here comes the license agreement. And voila, there's iTunes. Now it's an older version of iTunes, but it is fully functional and working on Windows 7. Now, I'm not sure how far you can update iTunes in here without having the same issues again. It's apparently, it's the uh, newer versions of iTunes that are causing the problem. Uh, so, if you don't have to update your iTunes, I wouldn't right now until they get that fixed. But, here we go. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Yo, I got that hit to beat the block. You can get that.